It's strange this weekend watching football games with no fans in the stands. This is the beginning of our new normal in our new world that we live in. And one of the things that I think's about to happen is you're going to see a serious ramp up in automation. Automation was already coming fast and furious, but now because it's a necessity, you're going to see an crazy level of the implementation of automation, of systems and processes. Because, I mean, I was sitting there looking at a game and there, there, there are no fans, but the game goes on because the NFL makes most of its money from television rights. So they're gonna lose some money from the lack of ticket sales, but merchandise sales, TV rights, that money's still gonna come in. And this got me to thinking, what other businesses, look at the businesses that did well during this pandemic. Amazon, Netflix, Apple. Apple really did well during this pandemic because here's one of the things. Apple, many years ago, spent billions of dollars upgrading its online website. And they were able to continue to get sales. I ordered uh, an iPad and I ordered a tricked out MacBook Pro, which came straight from China. They shipped that bad boy from China to my door. And essentially, there, there are some other things that are going on. Uh, I'm thinking about getting a bicycle. And I went to the bike shop and they're, they're out of bikes. So you're starting to see, because with this level of automation, we're going to see people return to simpler things like riding a bike. Because this is one of the things, because I was thinking about getting a bike and going on a Silver Comet two to three times a week. You know, it's just part of my fitness program. And a lot of people are starting to have similar thoughts. So we're gonna have ramped up automation on this one side, and then we're gonna have a return to simpler things on this other side. RV sales are going through the roof. Bicycle sales going through the roof. Things that you can do around the house. Home sales are going through the roof because many people have decided not to put their homes on the market that normally was. It was someone down the street that had their home on the market for a little bit and they took it off. And what we're going to see is a transformation in society. We thought that online activities were big. You ain't seen nothing yet. This pandemic is going to force more people to participate in online communities. And we're gonna be dealing with this for about two years because as evidenced by the college football yesterday, NFL football today, they're gonna push on. They're gonna try to keep doing what they're doing. And it's gonna create opportunities for people who are paying attention to what's happening. Netflix is literally exploding because people are at home and they crave entertainment. The NFL is playing games and stadiums with no fans. So this is one of the trends that we're gonna consistently see, and this is one of the things we're gonna build out. My business has exploded. And one of the things is many, many people who were unemployed, laid off, many, many people are thinking about how can I start an online business? What can I do that can get me in the online game? Right now, 89% of all commerce is done offline. 11% is done online and Amazon has 5.5% of all commerce done online, which represents trillions of dollars. And then Apple, IBM, there are many Walmart, there are many retailers who have robust online presence, really tricked out website. I ordered some shirts from Walmart that I believe came from a third party reseller on the site. It took about seven days for me to get the shirts. And this is what's happening because certain things are not stocked in the stores. These little hard, you know, these things that don't really sell briskly, but they do sell. There's a need to have them in stock. They're having it all online. We're going to see a radical transformation of the world, not just America, of the world in the next two years. Dating has become very, very interesting with online situations. So one of the things that I want you 
to start paying attention to is what can you do to create an online presence? You need to get a website, you need to get a podcast, you get a YouTube channel. YouTube's probably gonna grow for the next 20 years. I've been here 10 years and I've seen the massive growth and it ain't going anywhere. Podcast, online books, webcasts, online communities. These things are going to grow exponentially over the next two to five years. And if you want to position yourself to make some money, you need to be part of this coming wave. Because like I said, I'm just sitting here watching these football games, college games, NFL games. There are no fans in the stands. And the only reason that this is going on is because of television rights, the money they get from television. If it wasn't the money from the television, this would not be happening because essentially there are more people watching the game who are sitting at home from the comfort of home who watch the games than go to the games. And they calculated this and you have to understand, take Joe Rogan who sold his show to Spotify for $120 million. This is the kind of things that's going to continue to go on. This is the kind of things that's going to continue to build. I'm thinking about starting the podcast. I'm thinking about, cause right now I'm getting ready to start doing a lot of paid advertising on LinkedIn for my corporate toolbox, because that's where the more serious crowd is. People who are looking to start jobs, new jobs, people looking to build businesses. So we're going to have a totally different game plan, but mark my words, like we have an election coming up in about 52 days. This election is not really going to change what's going on out here. It's not going to change it at all because right now, if you are not thinking of starting some kind of online business, you are crazy because one of the things I've seen and one of the things I've been paying attention to is the number of folks who are running ads on YouTube. I have never seen these folks. There are so many people who are running ads on YouTube. And also the thing you should understand, that YouTube before this pandemic, I don't know what it was, but had 70% of its ad capacity unused. So YouTube was only running at 30% of his ad capacity. So a lot of these folks are coming in trying to fill those gaps. And I'm just here to tell you that if you're not trying to start something online, if you're not using the systems, if you're not using automation, you're going to get left behind. This trend is not going to reverse itself. This is going to be for the next 30 years. This is going to be the transformation of the society as we knew it into this new society. I anticipate that at some point you're going to be able to vote for the president online. We're heading there. You're going to be able, because essentially for Savage Finance, I was doing some stuff and I had to go to Wells Fargo to go through the process of the secured credit card for businesses just to see what that was like. And I was at the bank for almost an hour. Then I have these FinTech banks where I got another corporate card for my business. I'll talk about that at Savage Finance. And I didn't even have to go anywhere. This is one of the things like, especially with millennials. So millennials, if you can't book an appointment online, a lot of times they won't do business with you. They don't like talking on the phone. They don't want to talk on the phone other than text. So we're seeing a radical transformation of our society from the way that we conduct business, from the way that we meet people, from the way that we do everything. Everything is changing. Everything is in a state of agitation right now. And if you want to be part of this, you got to be online. You gotta be thinking, what can I automate? What can I build? How can I make people's lives better? How can I provide service? If you are not thinking like that, you, my friends, are in trouble. You're going to have some issues. You're not going to be able to play in this new environment. Now, for me, I, I had someone talking about, you know, one little kink with YouTube I've talked about this openly and apparently these people did not see this. It's like one little kink with YouTube, you're leaving Buckhead and going back to Bama. Uh, YouTube has been trying to kill this channel for three years and I've consistently made money. I have consistently made money online for 11 years, 11 years, 11 years. And you got someone up in the comments cause see here, here's the thing. You don't know what you don't know. Like there are many people, if you knew 
what I know about YouTube, you would be breaking your neck to create a YouTube channel. You know, this one little hiccup with the algorithm and all this other stuff and all. Essentially, these are people who are sitting on the sidelines who are not taking action. Like I said, if you knew what I knew about YouTube, you would be breaking your neck to get on here because YouTube is definitely gonna grow for the next 10 to 15 years, possibly for the next 20. And I'm gonna be part of that growth because I was here in 2009 and I've seen what has happened. And YouTube is going to bring, it's gonna be more changes, it's gonna be more updates, it's gonna be more stuff. This is coming. And you can either, as uh, Chris Brown said, you could be, I don't know how you can hate outside the club or you could be inside the club. Because I'm telling you, if you're not thinking of starting an online business, you are losing your mind. You are not in the proper mental space. You're not doing what you need to do because I'm here to tell you, the changing of the guard is happening right now. And either you're gonna be part of it or you're gonna get ran over by it. This is what's coming. It's already here. And the pandemic just made what was going to happen anyway. This was gonna happen anyway, happen faster. So to help you, if you want to, because one of the things I'm gonna do, like in October, I am building out the front end of the corporate toolbox. This is the deal you can get in for 2,400 bucks, or you can get in on the payment plan for September. October, I'm going to do a whole month about online businesses and setting up online businesses and building online businesses because that is what is now. This is what you need to do. I currently have a YouTube business. I have five YouTube channels. I currently have a consulting business. I currently have an online course business. That is three business models that dovetail very well into the online space. You're gonna have to get you some online action going. So the corporate toolbox is below. Get in now, get in in September. You know, it'll still be available in October. The price is just gonna go up because there's gonna be more stuff there and we're gonna get into online business models, things you need to do, how you need to set it up, simple things that no one really talks about, like putting together your logo, putting together your branding, and reaching out and talking to people and creating a business model. So go ahead, that's all I got for you guys. Be sure to check out the next video, which should be right here. And be sure to get in the corporate toolbox today.